Hello everyone, Nick Parjuch here, and we'll max the random Mugen Mania. Oh boy. Had to add a lot of AI passes for this week of battles because after seeing one of them not do so well without the AI patch, it was the right time to get most, if not all of them, up to speed. And considering that these characters are high tier to some extent, yeah, it's about time to get a buff, but that's depending on whether we see one of them or not today. And then again, I have to nerf some of them because balance. Which might not change much if they're still part of the top tier anyway, but who knows. Alright, here we go. Weiss Janae is running team on the left for this first match. Oh boy, double Ruby. We got Ruby Rose running team on the right. Man, that was a one in some kind of chance because I got a lot of characters and the Ram can just select one of them. Alright, here we go. Sugiyomi Kinako from Big Bang Yang versus Gunter from Galaxy Fight. Oh, yes, I also changed the versus screen theme. Alright, so we got Sugiyomi Kinako, Retro Ken Masters, one of the Kios from KOF 99, and Weishine versus Gunter. Smoke from Mag the Magic Toaster, the Raiden edit by Magic Toaster. Not the Smoke Ninja. Evil Dan and Rui Rose. And Gunter is dominating this fight. Despite Kineko's efforts. Alright, here comes Retro Ken Masters. Oh, that's got art. Major damage from that super throw combo. I don't know the names of the moves precisely. I'm just saying what I see. And Gunther just trash Ken. Oh wait, never mind. It's the actual Kyu Kusanagi from J Morph Man. So who knows? Guess I was wrong. <laughs> Ooh, things are getting red hot today. And down goes Keo. Yeah, that's definitely a patch we're doing with here. And Gunter's really laying loose with it. But now let's see how it does against Weishine and her AI patch. She just countered level two. And in the case of Galaxy Fight, that was all his power. Unless the character was set to level two for some reason. Either way, OCB prevented from Weishine. But she still has a chance to get one. Alright, come smoke and magic toaster. Oh no, he's stuck. Had to press troll eye because I wasn't sure he got stuck. I really don't want to press the troll eye when I don't want to, but I really don't want to have a situation that happened in a recent episode. Happen again. Then again, there is a difference between getting stuck and projectile spam, so who knows. It's getting close. And Weiss is going to clutch this because she's blocking all of Smoke's attacks and just in the nick of time, she won. Now she's up against Evil Dan. 
Evil Dan just took her out. Wow. That was interesting. And yeah, the virtual screen, well, the victory screen has been cut too, to some extent. So, yeah. We gotta get moving. There we go. Next set of battles. Okay, we got Niall Watt, I believe, ran a team on the left. She is from Asuka 120%. And we got Jubei from Fatal Fury running team on the right. Jay Mehua from Dongo Never Die versus Catwoman. And we're fighting on KOF New Wave Stage, this clock tower. Alright, so we got Jay Mehua. I think that's Jiraiya or Sonya from Naruto. Catherine from Arcana Heart and Nanawa versus Catwoman. One of the JoJo characters, Classic Sonic and Jiri Yamada. And Catwoman takes the win for round one. Fugasaku and Shima. Forgive me guys, I don't watch Naruto, so... If I mess up some of the names, aside from certain characters... Please forgive me. Their small size can... Possibly be a troublesome aspect under fight against Catwoman, but it looks like her grabs are being up for it. And down goes Catwoman. And we you know it's the character I thought who it was. It's Polnareff. I was thinking it was being Polnareff, but I didn't expect him to be at him. Either way, here he goes. Unleashing Silver Chariot. And down goes a bunch of frogs. Or toads, or... Again, I don't watch Naruto as much as other people do. Actually, not at all, but... Yeah. Just forgive me when it comes to naming characters. Now we got Catherine from... Arcana Heart, and... She has her AI installed. And she is going to town on Polnareff. And down he goes. Yep, classic Sonic. She is just trapping classic Sonic in the corner. Please don't tell me that was just the representation of what happened to Sonic in recent years. Please not. Please don't. Please. The movies are good. I mean, he can recover from some bad games. I mean, come on. Sonic's gotta move. And Jubei got crushed.
Well, I'm gonna make sure if there is any past Jubilee. If you guys know one, please let me know. I might find one too, but other than that, yeah. Jubilee might need a buff. And my buddy may me by he will. Catherine might need a nerf, but then again. Some gators might also need it too. Same with buffs, but. That's one of the problems having huge rocks like this. You gotta take note of everyone. Alright. Saber and team on the left. And we got Tess, I believe, from Balcaroad. I might be confusing here with someone else. It's spelled differently. That's what's most confusing me. Either way, she is from Balcade Road, and yeah, she's around the team on the right for this last match. TT from Marshall Champion versus Rock Howard. And we're playing on King uh, Zeus's stage from Saturday Morning Mayhem. <laughs> Man, I am just getting things confused today. First, we got TT. We got Mark Simpson. We got. One of the characters from R Fighting 3 and Sayer vs. Rock Howard. Gilgamesh. Stan Aeron and Tysa from Valkyrie Road. And TT is dominating the match despite Rock's efforts. And down he goes. Here comes Gilgamesh. Oh, dangerous chains. Oh, the projectile didn't stop the chains. TT was too late. And down goes TT. This could be a troublesome opponent if Marge doesn't do something. I believe the next character on the left team is Wang Kosan. Yeah, it probably is going to be Wang Kosan. And that might be a glitch. I did not see any damage from that attack. And down goes Marge. Yo, Mesh is going to OCV if they don't do something now. Like, did you see that? He's not doing any damage for some of his attacks. That? That might be a bit odd, to be honest. I mean, last time, Close Chloe Rins, she had more defense. That's why she took less damage. She had more life. This, this is different. These are attacks not doing anything for some reason. So it's possible we want to look for another Gilgamesh. I mean, his AI is good, but some of his could use it. So, 
If it does sort of, sort of a, a nerf, I was always calling it a buff. It would help. But it looks like he just dominated this fight. He was... Oh boy. So despite not doing damage at certain points, good match guy in OCV. Oh boy. Welp. I might want to start looking for another version of him next time. Other than that, if any of these characters installed today have AI patches or versions that do have AI patches, please let me know. And I'll try adding them in for next time. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good Mother's Day tomorrow. As well as staying safe out there. Have a good rest of your weekend. And yeah. Later, folks.